So if you've seen Josh fight before, you know that that boy has power in those hands. A little bit, a little bit not conventional in the way he fights. He kind of bounces a bit left and right to set up his shots. Yeah. And if you've seen my uncle, uncle fight, you know he's got beautiful yeah. left body kick, great left knee, blocks very well. So it'll be an interesting, interesting exchange. Um, last time we saw Mahon Monkol fight, he fought at 62 kilos. This fight, 59 kilos. He came in quite easily, uh, thanks to Don and Lindsay with helping him with his uh, nutrition. That's it. Uh, Josh has put on a few pounds since the weigh-in, by the looks of things. And uh, that's definitely going to help him. The guy's got some uh, cement in his hands. And we have Chalk in centering. Uh, Monkon just uh, staying out of range there. Southpaw positioning, beautiful left kick on the arms. One thing about Josh, he will return, fire straight away with a couple of shots. Yeah, look, I mean, <clears throat> if he gets in early, but if my Monkon kicks away that arm, eventually, eventually that arm's going to not work as good. <laughs> yeah, probably the highest calibre uh, not on paper, but currently uh, Josh has faced right now, I'd say. Yeah, look, I mean, obviously he fought leg on short Some notice. Some older ties, yeah. Yeah, and a few of the guys that he's fought are, are a little bit uh, past their absolute prime, whereas um, young Mahaman Kol. Josh is deceiving like he's uh, a lot stronger than he looks. Very powerful young guy, powerfully built. Yeah, uh, he can go hard for five rounds as well. Yeah, he's got that power there, and there's a lot of belief around Josh, and a lot of guys see him as a future star of Australian Muay Thai. Um, and, you know, for a relatively low experience, he's jumped in the deep end pretty quickly. He's putting in a lot of low kicks. You see Josh do that a lot with his fights in the first few yeah. rounds. Tries to take the water out of... The legs oh, of the big crack. elbow there by Op, uh, Mahamonkon, Op for short. Um, he wasn't mucking around with that one side. You can watch those hands of Josh keep moving backwards, a smart idea. You just expect that thunderous long left kick to come in from the tie. Yeah, you gotta um, not uh disrespect josh's power too much and just try to waltz away from it like he he does follow up changes his footwork a little bit and does chase the guys down a bit so don't underestimate what he can do yeah beautiful straight left there from up the tie that left hook of uh, josh's has just kind of fallen short a couple of times they get into the clinch and chalk breaks them up nice and quickly Even though Marmonkol has scored with some big kicks this round, I, I, I feel though he's still feeling him out a little bit. Yeah, nice left kick there by the tie and another one finds its home. Just got to watch those hands. End of round one, fast round, side. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And um, good round for both of them. Definitely advise him not to get it caught up in any firefights tonight. Thank you to team at Yes Migration Australia for sponsoring this bout. Big low kick there after Ops body kick. Going orthodox to start the round two out. Josh coming in with those hands. He's so quick and they come from everywhere so he easily yeah, yeah, the second kick got him down. I think Ops just uh, struggling a little bit with uh, the timing of Josh McCullough. Yeah. He's not that stand in front and time, yeah. like 
exchange one for one strikes. He's struggling to work him out as anyone would. He's a very fast starter and it's kicks, punches, different angles coming from everywhere and that's what works for him. And he's fought a few ties. This is probably the seventh or eighth tie he's fought in probably 12 months. Yeah, from uh, recent memory, I think the only one of the only fighters I know is fought who when it hasn't been a tie fighter has been uh, Nathan Jones Jr. who he also ended up, I think, knocked out with a head kick. Yeah, that's right. On the 1774 card. <coughs> Corner calling for the left long kicks. Tries a spinning elbow there, misses. Josh is uh, just that oh, skip knee there from, from off the tie. Beautiful body kick. Eats a few punches there, but he's okay. And Josh uh, did well to get his head back up there. Oh, lovely elbow on the chin of uh, up by Josh. Snuck that left elbow in. Big uh, punch there from the tie. Another one. Oh, beautiful big kick. Big left kick on the arm of Josh there. Josh goes low at the same time. Just that work rate of Josh uh, rem reminds me of uh, the, the, the fighters from Holland and Europe yeah, from the yeah. 90s. He's switching it up all the time, that constant work rate. Oh, uh, he's starting to hurt Ops' legs a bit, I think. Now yeah, he's peppering away at them. Good round there from uh, from Josh, but it's still early days. Mahamongol is looking a little bit tender on those legs, Donny. I think yeah, he might have hit a few nerves. So yeah, the tie, the bones has a, needs a big round. He's just got a soldier on and go for it. Big scoring knee there and another one. He looks comfortable. This is probably where he'll uh, work out the puzzle side of uh, Josh McCulloch. Yeah, the more time he spends oh, in that... Oh, lovely clinch. straight knee there. Oh, big straight knee again. The more time he stands in that clinch, the less he's going to have to deal with the movement yeah. and low kicks of Josh. Josh did well to, to handle that one. I think it might have hurt him as well, Si. But he just he's needs to be careful walking him down. Yeah, Josh absolutely. has got to keep moving, hit, moving, hit, moving, hit. Oh, big kick to the chest there. Rip cage from the tie. Back in the clinch they go. Josh is nice and close. With a sweep and a kick on the way down. The tie, Dern, Dern, forward, looking for those straight knees. There we go, see up. Yeah, he needs to kick his way in. It's just everything to the body now from up. He's got to watch those hands on the way in. hands on the way in. They corner just calling for Tank Carl. Yeah, lovely takedown. Beautiful timing there. Um, covering up. Forward pressure from the tie. Another straight knee. Big scoring shots in Muay Thai. Just got to be careful and stay balanced as he comes in. Malmongol just trying to break his posture down a little bit to get those clear space for those knees. He's got to keep those hands up, though. Yeah. He's playing with fire, man. Yeah, long, long boy. We're calling for he's chopping that leg as Josh on the way in. Smart move. I think he really off. is really struggling yeah. to move with his and his uh, that leg, isn't he? Yep. 
Oh, nice left kick now from Op. He's showing a bit of pain and aggression in his face now. No, no. Another left kick. Another left kick there. Finds its mark. Nice knee from Josh there. And another one. A beautiful takedown from the well time. Just pure timing and stuff. Another knee there. Yeah, the, the ties big, big looping right curved knee. knee there. Finds its mark on the rib cage of Josh. Josh just keeps on going though. Tries for a takedown. Calling for the elbows now. That's corner. Nice body shot. Great round for the tie there. He needed that round after he, the second yeah. round where he took a lot of damage. That third round he came in. I think he saw some weakness in the body of young Josh. Scored him with the knees. But once again, we just... Yeah, Josh is dangerous round. and he can step back and uh, take your head off. <laughs> Let's see if Mahamonko can keep up that pressure. Let's see if Josh has recovered enough to land some heavy shots and do some damage. Great kicks there from the tie. Another beautiful kick right on the side, left and right. Beautiful dump there. Josh straight back up, long kick and knee there. Beautiful left kick. Yeah, Mahamonko, he's, he's got a hard fight. I think he underestimated Josh going into this. He did train hard, but having a chat with him uh, earlier, I just think, you know, you can't judge a book by its cover. <laughs> no, and you know, his last fight in Thailand before he came to Australia, I think he got stopped by low kicks or he lost, took a lot of low kicks. And I think that fight's like yeah. being a bit reminiscent of that now. Body kick there from the tie. Low kick there from Josh, pushes him away before Marlon it. just wilted a bit. I think that body shot initially hurt him, unless he's playing possum. He's got to throw that left kick, left knee. I think his leg's oh. cactus. There's an eight count. He can never ride off Josh. I don't think he's going to get up no. from this. Yeah, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. What a uh, comeback after that what third round. Upset. Well done to Josh in corner. Like you said, Sai, uh, I think he, he, he got hurt earlier in the fight. And um, it, just, yeah, it just took its toll in the end. You can underestimate those low kicks, and I think it's definitely his knees got way too banged up. Yeah, great fight nonetheless. Well done to Team Bones. Always fun watching Josh fight the ties at the, these weight divisions. Um, Maha Monkon, and he'll be he'll be back for sure. Into round four. This fight is declaring your winner by.